Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald here and welcome back to another video. So as you saw in the previous one, I got Zetana and I got her kind of built. This is the build that we're running with at the moment. We have maxed out crit chance, I'm not sure yet how this special one works in terms of uh, additional crit chance. Maybe it's just crit chance for the special. By the way, I didn't have this upgraded. I don't have any of the specials upgraded for the gameplay, well that sucks. I, I just forgot I guess, like this is, uh, this is after I done the fights. Well, she would do so much better with those upgrades, I can tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how the crit chance works on this, and I'm not gonna bother with it yet. I'm gonna test it out another time, so I just put some crit chance on the build. Uh, uh, anyway, we have fast attack chance, because she's gonna have a debuff that uh, gives more damage on basic attack hits. We have crit damage. Crit damage is going to be uh, close to 300% with the Dark Metal cards unequipped. Yeah, this, so this is with Dark Metal cards unequipped and I have some defense on her because mainly I was gonna use her right now in Arena and Champions Arena and I'm gonna use her most likely later in Soul Raids against Manta so she need that defense and whatever attack we could squeeze in with the stats that were left. And let's get into the gameplay because she does have some problems. Keep in mind that I'm not gonna play the following fights. Those are arena fights. I couldn't care less if I win or lose. I'm not gonna play in order to win them. I'm not gonna play in order to do the most damage. I'm gonna play it in order to test the functionality of the character. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so you release the three characters that are ported from Injustice 1, right? They really have new models in the game, right? Every single one of the characters you release that has a model ported from Injustice 1 or is new, excluding Batman Laughs basically because he got the model reused, have problems with the tagging attack and their tagging attack gets interrupted by enemy basic attack hits. You admit that's not intended, you admit that's a problem and you fix it. You release a new character, also can't tag him properly because she gets interrupted by the enemy's basic attack hits. Pikachu surprise face, who would have expected that? How? How do you keep doing these mistakes? Bro, I, I wonder at this point if the people who are designing the characters even know how and when to tag in and out. Do you know how the, the, the system functions for the game that you're actually making characters for at this point? So yeah, now back into this fight. So I don't necessarily like her third special. It's one of those specials that doesn't knock the enemy down. And it might be to the point where you're staggered because of the animation, because she even flexes a bit after the animation is over. Uh, she, it might be one of those specials where you might get hit by, by the end of it, even though you hit it into an enemy that was not blocking. The special one has a little bit of a problem as well, but we're gonna get into that later. The thing that I like most so far is the special too, because I predicted this could go in two ways. It says that uh, you're going to have a spree special, chance-based, and uh, I thought say, it could be two ways that you apply that. Uh, first up, you randomly trigger a special and uh, it hits the enemy and the enemy can block, or you randomly trigger a special and it is unblockable. Nope, it reduces the cost of a random special to zero. And that is the absolute best way to implement it, and the special 2 is actually my favorite special of Zatanna in terms of animation. It's a fast special and it knocks the enemy down, so no bullshit animation where the enemy can hit you. Special 1, on the other hand, also has a little bit of a problem. I'll get into that. Combos feel good enough, they, they chain well enough, the swipe back animation is a little bit iffy, it's a cheetah oriented swipe back animation where she swipes back, tumbles in the air a bit, no problem with the basics, kind of iffy on the swipe back. Swipe down works, we had a problem with Martian Manta where swipe down did not work but swipe down works. Special 2 in there. Again, I love the special too, and also keep in mind when entering this fight, I had like an idiot all the specials at level 1. My, my, my bad on that one. Just realized when I was starting to record the rest of the footage for this video. Okay, we got hit there, that's fine, we did not die. Thankfully, Brainiac was merciful because he would have yeeted her out of existence. Maybe I should have given her leg score ports for more survivability. Is Dana back in there. Third special. Gonna block that. Shazam back in there. Blocking a few hits. I can't tag him from a block because she she will get hit by the enemy's basic attack hit against special 2. I love that special. She got killed here, but uh, 
look at that damage buff is still active even though she got killed so you can stack the damage buff with her and then get her killed if you need to now why would you need to you might be in soul rates and you fight you fight a fight that has kill tagging and you need only one character alive and you're going to have your damage there plus the tana that gets that buff stacked up and then she dies or you can use her with the last of joker league of marketing with nora snow globe on her stacking the buff and then letting her die so you also buff joker in that regard and look, this is the problem with the special one. This is the problem with the special one. It has a long ass cast time. To the point where you can't really catch seemingly enemies from uh, them doing a jump attack or them swiping towards you. With normal specials, that's an opening. With the special one, because she takes a long ass time to actually use it, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem and the enemy might as well block. It doesn't seem to be a problem when you chain it from basic attack hits and the enemy is already staggered, but uh, you gotta be a little bit careful when you catch enemies with that, so a little bit of an unoptimal special there. Yeah, I got killed because of it. See, th here is no problem when you use it uh, from a combo. Also, the damage buff uh, uh, is uh, going to uh, keep stacking each time with power uh, uh, drain the enemy, basically. And we power drain them each time we apply a debuff, and we apply a debuff each time we use a special, basically. For the most part. Yeah, I didn't play much of her. I'm not an expert in Zatanna. Special one there, we managed to catch a jump attack actually there. So it might have been a little bit of a rare occurrence there where the enemy blocked before my special one was yeeted out, but uh, yet again, it shouldn't happen. That thing just shouldn't happen. Over here, I'm, I'm for sure gonna win this fight, so I'm just gonna try the jump attack there. Looks good enough. The jump attack looks good enough. I haven't tested out if you, could, you can do the block into jump combo and I get killed here. And that is as far as my uh, Zatanna Arena gameplay goes. Now let's uh, get back into the character screen and let's talk a little bit about it. I'm gonna end this video with some last thoughts on Zatanna. Keep in mind this is not a review. In a review I would mention how good she is in League Raids, in Soul Raids, what teams you can pair her up with and all that stuff, how good her damage buffs are. None of that here. Here I'm gonna give my thoughts on purely the design, playability and enjoyability of Zatanna. Special 2, amazing. Whoever designed this amazing special, just great stuff overall. When looking at uh, her uh, spreadsheets uh, in terms of uh, these specials, I thought that the special 2 would be my least favorite. It's actually my favorite out of all them. Third special, again, I would love it if this would actually knock down the enemy instead of staggering them a bit. And I would love if the animation for it was a little bit shorter, because after she throws out the fire, she's flexing a bit, and while she's flexing, the enemy is gonna get out of the stagger and start hitting you. J just stop uh, use, uh, doing stagger specials, just make all the specials knock the enemies down, and we'll have no problem with any of the specials you design in the future. And the special one, it ha it seems to has have a little bit of a cast time, a wind up time. It has a 0 0.5 seconds delay before it actually comes out because she needs to summon the cards out of her ass or something like that, or out of the hat, more likely. Let's not be mean here, but uh, it's not right sometimes. It doesn't really seem right sometimes. And in terms of her basic attack hits, uh, they function. They function. I'm gonna give her that, but they feel weird. And that's the same thing I said about Raven on release, because the basic attack hits of Raven felt weird, and they felt like they were not from this game. And uh, I still think that about Raven, I got used to her basic attack hits, but I still feel kind of uncomfortable while doing them. And I kind of get the same feeling with her. Swipeback seems fine in terms of the speed, but has a little bit of a clunky animation. Jump attack seems fine. Again, I haven't tested if you can do jump into block combos, so that remains to be seen. And tag in. We, we have a little bit of a tagging problem, yet again, as every single character you've released in the past two years. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about Zatanna. I definitely do enjoy playing her. I think she's an enjoyable character, but she would be so much more enjoyable if she would be properly created from the release date and not properly created from, like, uh six months after release. Like Deathstroke, for example. Deathstroke right now, I think, in terms of design, in terms of gameplay, how it feels when you play him, I think he's a perfect character for the most part. Except can't do the jump into a block combo. Uh, but on release, Deathstroke was an absolute nightmare to play as. 
Zatanna, I feel like, is in a little bit of a better spot than release Deathstroke, but not too much better. And I think those issues might be fixed in time, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, they will for sure fix the tagging issue, but uh, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, of a gray area in terms of changing the special animations or making them come out faster. They did change uh, the third uh, basic attack hit on Deathstroke, so it doesn't feel like the second basic attack hit, or the fourth basic attack hit, excuse me. So it's not out of the table to change some deeper design as far as characters go, but it's not the most likely thing. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. This is the future.